Hello everyone. Well, let's wait here and see if we're live at the right place. This is just last minute I decide to pop on Facebook. You know, I, it seems I go more live on, um, what you may call it, on YouTube, but today I decide to go live on um, Facebook. Now I'm just looking on my device here if I can see you. Um, Let's show one viewer, I bet that is me. I just want to make sure I'm at the right place and you guys can hear me. I think so. I think that it's all good. Now I see five viewer. Perfect. Awesome. So I'm going to assume that, um, let me, I think I can, um, uh, the comment here let me test if somebody can put a comment I just want to see to make sure I can see the comment here okay I think I got it popped up here awesome thank you Carol okay so we're gonna get a going with it Today it's October 4th, so if you watch this after October 4th, you're going to find out that the free shipping is over. So it's free shipping today. So it was a great a time to pop in, not just to tell you it's free shipping, but ooh, look at this. So I'm going to share a quick card. It's a snowman, very vintage snowman. But the free shipping is on all order of um, $75 before tax and shipping. Also today, uh, I posted on my Facebook, I send newsletter and so on. It's a birthday kit that they release. The birthday kit, it's an organizer birthday kit card. So you get every month in a pocket with every day of the, the month. So it's generic. So it's one through like 31, 30, whatever for each month. But what I'm saying, it don't say like the first Tuesday and that. So you can use it year after year in the pocket it's with the card. So you would put January 1st, his birthday and so on. Sometimes on the one day we get more than one uh, person that birthday, we're gonna have to write smaller or overlap, so on. Uh, paper pumpkin, free shipping, it's great. That is free paper pumpkin. That is if you buy a prepaid subscription. Because if you just subscribe, that it's bill on the 10th of the month. It's not. So you have to purchase um, a little over three months. Because three months, it's 60 something dollars. Okay. So if you do six months, absolutely. Yes. Okay. So let me flip you down. And by the way, uh, I see Samantha, you were telling me all kind of stuff about the device for the, the, the mic. It happened that it was the connection that wouldn't charge anymore. So the, the thing was not charged. And I got a new one. So all should be good. So it should be all working properly now. So let me just want to make sure. Oh, there we go. OK, so now see this cute little dude. OK. First thing, we're going to get our stuff for uh, the die cut first. And I listed all the supplies in the description of this, okay? So if you're wondering what's this, so on. I am using the three ring with embossing folder and the dies. That's come together. It is a hybrid uh, set. And then for the ad, I'm using, oh, I forgot to add this. I will add that in the, uh, the link, though. Um, it's the hat for the gnome uh, dies, okay? So let's bring my die cut machine, and let me share how that is done. So I will not switch that just for quick uh, die cut there. So you're going to need the plate number four. So just the platform one. Let me bring this here. Platform number one. Now for the, I'm using four and a quarter by six. Now we're doing all together. So we are doing, I would like to see. 
to one sequence here. Okay, I would like to, um, I want to cut everything. So it's four and a quarter by six. Now I'm going to take my die and where you see the stamping up there, this is going to get, oops, in here. And it's going to kind of lock. It don't really lock per se, but it's fit right in. See, it's not sliding. So you want to make sure it's engaged in there. You're going to put your piece of cardstock, and really I could go a little bit more than four and a quarter. I should have went like four and a half by six would have been the ideal. Now I'm going to close this, flip it. I want to see my die at the top. I'm going to put plate number four. So four and one for this, okay? Four and one. And now for the ad, I am using crumb K because I want it kind of vintage. I'm using plate number two, one, two, clear plate. And I need another clear plate. Here it is. And you know what? I'm thinking maybe I can, um, we get a crumb cake hat. What about if I do... Um, I think I want another color. So we already get a crumb cake. And let's try a Knight of Navy ad. Just something different so we can see to, uh, oops, make sure your plates are straight. So yes, so today it's uh, October. Did I say August at the beginning? Oh my goodness. I feel those days of the week and month, it's all wrapped up. It's getting crazy how time fly. It is October 1st, and it is free shipping with order of $75 and above before taxes and shipping. Okay, so now you see it emboss and it die cut at the same time. Let me remove this. <coughs> you can do just a few if you want or do them all. I like to keep a this together I mean, just because um, it's easy to find, right? And I always put in the bag my extra there. And right now, I get a lot of extra. By the way, I saw this snowman popping in my feed. It was Sue. I cannot remember the last name. So, uh, and then of course the hat, I had the hat and I had the arms. I had a different thing, but really, I was inspired by Sue. So I'm using the three smallest one, one, two, three. And the two big one, I'm gonna keep that for another project, okay? Now I'm gonna bring, uh, I got soft suede, really easy. And I'm gonna sponge this all around. And I could have used crumb cake, I decided to do a soft suede just because it go faster. So it doesn't matter, it's just to add some like vintage. Get a scrappy paper here, let me bring this here because we're gonna need that for the other uh, part too. And let me just, I'm adding at the top also. Be very soft because you don't want round, you know? You don't want that, so just go soft. And I like to use the daubers with that. Video ended? Hmm, shouldn't be. Up, oh, back in. Somebody said video ended. Somebody can tell me if you guys, I'm still here. It should be, I should be still here, right? And very gentle here. Still going, perfect. I think they retract that thing. It's okay now, oh, perfect, perfect, all good. Yeah, sometimes, you know, it's not just my connection. A lot of time we forget about that. So it's my connection, that's the main one, okay? Because I have to shoot the video to you. 
And then the other connection, it's your guys' connection. So sometimes if your connection buff, it's called buffing, you can lose the connection and then you would have to log in back. Okay, so we get this prepared. We're gonna push that aside. Now I'm using a piece of vanilla that measure four by five and a quarter. And I got a blending brush, balmy blue. And then I am using a scrap paper here. And I'm going to push it down. Okay, this one I'm going to push it down. And you want to go kind of heavy because we're going to put the vellum on top of that. Okay, so don't be afraid to put quite a bit of color. And it doesn't matter if it's smear and so on because uh, it's a piece of vellum going on top of this. Okay, so I'm just trying to add kind of snow here, like snow bank. Okay. Here we go. And then we're going to do the sky. So you see, it look a little bit of snow. This is too straight here. I'm going to add some character right here. Here we go. Much better. So now for me, that looked more like drift snow up north. Now the top for the sky, I'm using all in one color. I just gonna push it down. And again, I want a bit dark just because I got a, a piece of vellum coming at the top. Now, I'm gonna keep here lighter should they're rising and that will show through the, the vellum. If I get very dark and keep a strip kind of light, you kind of see the, the horizon, you want to blend it. So you want to go dark to lighter. So anytime you start with your blend, your uh, blending brush, go back at the top and just push it. So the tarp, top's going to be very dark and coming lighter. Et voila, maybe I can go even darker here. So this one here, many people uh, express that they get maybe challenge with come scenery or uh, to blend, this would be a good one to start. And the reason it's because you get a villain on top. I don't know, I must add something on my finger. See that dot there? Um, I will not worry about that. And then this is gonna go at the top. So see, you still see the horizon, you see the snowbank in the sky. So this one, it's the vellum with the polka dot silver. This one here, it's the polka dot, but it's the one that's kind of a felt on it. Um, I got next, well, this one, you know, I give uh, the team challenge every month. This one, it's, that's what it is. So we're going to see a lot with this paper. So you get the big uh, uh, snowflake. So you get it in silver, and also you got it, it's kind of a flock, okay? So you get all different print and then the polka dot. So if you buy this paper, in short, you're going to see quite a bit of sample on that on my blog because I challenge my team with this paper. And with that being said, some of them already start arriving. And let me make sure I don't show no address. Here is one. See the paper? So it was like the linen paper that I share, right? Here's another one. Here's another one. So it's just started arriving. It's just due at the end of the month. So with that being said, uh, you're going to have a lot of sample with that, okay? So that is um, <clears throat> the vela, <clears throat> excuse me. The vellum, it's in the holiday catalog. Again, you get the supplies right below. It is the one on page 83 or page 40, Snowflake. That's the specialty vellum. Okay, so now, many people also express, you know, the challenge of um, 
gluing vellum? Well, for this one, it's very simple. Just gonna take my seal, put it right there. That's where the snowman gonna go, so I don't have to worry. The vellum come in 12 by 12. This one is cut at four by five and a quarter, the same than my layer. Et voila. I wanna make sure. Here we go. So now we're gonna fill the snowman. Time to build the snowman. Okay, let me remove that scrappy paper. So what we're gonna do, I like, of course, you can guess what I'm using. Yes, glue dots. So we're gonna use glue dots and I'm gonna put two glue dots there. That is just to mainly build the snowman and it's gonna get attached with, um, here we go. Um, dimensional so here we go put one on top of the other so those one are more like the oval side okay so it's flat this one go up so this one is for the head okay so we're gonna go ahead and just at the bottom because you know it's nothing so we're just connecting that's what i should have said Go. and I'm putting it a little bit tilted so you get this still is it tilted and the reason why you get this head tilted it's because that hat it's a big hat okay so now we can put him on our card well first I put inside so it's not really a Christmas card or it could be a Christmas card but you know how strong I am to say make a card send a card don't wait for an occasion well, friend uh, like you make this season special. So that could be a card that you send just because this time of whatever, during the winter, it's a season, right? So you can send that. And I thought you don't have to wait really for Christmas or also you could um, use it Christmas or take a card after Christmas. That would be a good one to do. So no thanks. Here we go. But see that background how pretty it is it looks like this the snow is falling hard but with the sponging and we had a big chunk it's hard to see but it was right here so with the vellum it's very forgiving very much so forgiving now we're going to use the uh, dimensional and every place that the two go i make sure to have one between the two attaching it now here, I won't really put some on the side, and I bet you can guess why I am not putting any on the side there, because we're going to put our uh, fingers or stick or hand or whatever you call them. Now we're going to remove this, and my little granite came to work with me. It's just snoring. Dead boy, I just love him. I love both of them. Granite is the one that cannot be left by himself okay and here it is so um the hat i don't have i feel it's plain okay so you know what i'm gonna do one moment uh, whoa, 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 whoa. okay i got in this here it's just paint acrylic paint okay so i'm gonna go ahead well first we're gonna have to uh, put the snowman uh, the here at the top. Put that right here. Here we go. And then I'm going to do a little snowflake. Okay, uh, some of you are going to say, where did you get that little bottle? Uh, it's ST that give me this little bottle and I absolutely love it. You have to make sure that this tip, it's a pure metal like uh, stainless steel. If not, it's gonna rust. I got this in this thing forever. It was $4.99, but I found them on Amazon also, okay? So I just tap it, make sure it go down and just put my cap on. And what I put in it is plain acrylic white paint. I use that quite often. Okay, so that add quite a bit to this. 
Oh, I forgot something on the other one. So while this dry, I'm going to push that there. So I'm using the uh, black uh, dots. And we're going to do one. And for the eyes, I did th uh, the smaller one for the eyes, those one, okay? Here we go. So we're going to slow down a bit. Just we let that dry, but we have to... Um, do our nose and for the nose I just take scrap paper of um, pumpkin pie and I wiggle and wiggle and wiggle see wiggle and wiggle and then you're going to come this way and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and you do kind of a, a V voila now first we need our little eyes I want to make sure I don't touch my paint there because the paint take a little bit to dry. Some of you are going to say why I'm not using the white ink. Uh, the acrylic paint takes awesome in that and it dry even faster than the acrylic paint. Now I'm going to use a uh, Tombow glue here, the, white, the liquid glue. I could even sponge maybe my um, add more character to the carrot. I'm just going to leave it just this way going to put that right here this one the nose it's smaller now we're gonna before we put the dots though we're gonna do our um, bow well I thought I had brought everything now I don't see one minute I lost the linen thread oh here it is okay here's a little trick on the linen thread so you see when you pull the little linen thread out of the thing, you see how it all curl up. It's kind of hard to do um, a bow sometime with. Take your bone folder and pull that. So this one is straight up. It doesn't matter if it's linen thread or if it's a uh, ribbon, that's gonna help a lot. I'm gonna fold this in three and I'm gonna do a bow. And the reason why I leave it on the spool, because if I don't have enough, then I have to cut a lot more and so on. This makes it a lot easier for me. Okay, I pull this. Okay, now we're going to cut. Now I'm going to spread this apart, tight that good, and then squeeze this. I want to flare this here. Absolutely. Yeah, the background and, yeah, in oval, yeah. You can do whatever you, you wish to, um, to do. When it comes to paper crafting, it's no right and wrong. You just do what suits you. Okay, I use a glue dot. Gonna put that right here. How cute it is. And then, gonna take those bigger one and we're gonna put three of them here. So I use the smaller one for the eyes and then for the button and this one I'm going to put five buttons mm, I don't know about five I don't know we'll see et voila so now you have it how quick and simple it is and it's a great way to use that die isn't it and again see the background very very it's just make it very soft with that villain at the top. So that is it, my friends. Share that, tell your friend to come and watch that and take advantage of today, October 4, free shipping. It ends tonight at 11.59 p.m. Mountain Time. So till next time, happy stamping and have a lovely day. Bye-bye for now.